An approach to knot tying for the left-handed student. Objectives, demonstrate the two-handed technique for square knots using the left hand, demonstrate the one-handed technique for square knots using the left hand, and provide tips for left-handed students. During your surgical rotation, being left-handed can make life more difficult. Surgical tools are built for right-handers and it can be more difficult to use them in your left hand. If you are a left-hand dominant student and your dream is to be a world-class surgeon, we suggest that you stop watching this video and learn surgical techniques with your right hand. Most people are right-hand dominant and it is much easier to mimic the actions of a right-hand dominant person than it is to mirror their technique. If you plan on becoming a surgeon, you will have to learn a myriad of knot ties, sutures, and procedural skills. It may become easier to use surgical tools with your right hand as they were designed for right-hand dominant people. However, there is a learning curve associated with switching to your right hand. It can take time for you to develop the same degree of dexterity. Many surgical techniques require finesse and accuracy to complete. Therefore, we made this video to appeal to left-hand dominant students who are too stubborn to change. Many knot configurations are used, however the most common is a square knot. Square knot is a type of flat reef knot with a single overhand knot and an overlying reverse overhand knot as described by Muffley et al. According to Bem et al, flat square knots are commonly used because of their high degree in, of integrity and the fact that, once properly tied, the knot will not slip. To tie a square knot using the two-handed technique, begin with the two strands in each hand. Create a loop by crossing the strand in your right hand over the strand in your left hand. Stick your th right thumb through the loop. You will notice that this creates a number four. Cross the strand in your left hand into the center of the four and push the strand through the loop with your right index finger. Regrasp the strand with your left hand and pull your hands apart to secure the first throw. Bring your hands back to the center. Loop the strand in your right hand over your thumb to create an L shape. Take the strand in your left hand and cross it over the L to create an hourglass shape. Touch your right index finger to your thumb and rotate your wrist to grasp the strand held in your left hand between your right thumb and index finger. Rotate your wrist to push the strand through the hourglass. Re-grasp the strand with your left hand and separate your right thumb and index finger. Cross your right hand over your left hand to secure the second throw. The resulting knot should lie flat against the surface and look something like this. Repeat the process until you have enough throws to create a secure knot. According to Tidwell et al., a secure square knot requires at least four throws and may need as many as six throws. In practice, you should use as many throws as the surgeon you're working under wants you to use. To tie a square knot using the one-handed technique, begin the same way with one strand in each hand. Create a loop by crossing the strand in your right hand over the strand in your left hand. Push your right index finger through the center and pass it under the strand in your left hand. Use it to grasp the strand held in your right hand. Use your right index finger to pull the strand through the loop and grasp it again with your right hand. Pull your hands apart to secure the first throw. Bring your hands back to center. This time, flip the strand in your right hand over your fingers. Grasp the strand in your left hand with your right middle finger. Pass your right middle finger under the strand held in your right hand. Use your right middle finger to push the strand through the loop. Cross your right hand over your left hand to secure the second throw. Repeat the process until you have a secure square knot. Whenever you are asked to suture, left-hand dominant student should specifically ask the scrub nurse to load the needle driver for a lefty. When loading the needle, the needle point should face on the right. Right-hand dominant people generally use the scissors with the screw facing up. This will push the blades together and allow them to cut. Left-handed users should flip the scissors over Otherwise, the blades could distract from each other and make cutting more difficult. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and good luck on your surgery rotation.